troubling hadith that the Prophet ﷺ said, ستكونوا فتنتون في الشام أولها لعب السبيان It begins with children playing in dar'a. And then he said that it'll just be after that one fitna after another. كُلُّ مَا سَكَنَا فِتْنَةٌ هَاجَتْ فِتْنَةٌ أُخْرَى Every time it calms down in one place, it starts up somewhere else. In this, إِذَا خَرَجَتْ الرَّايَةَ السُّودِ If you see the black flags, فَإِنَّ أَوَّلَهَا فِتْنَةٌ It begins with a fitna. وَوَسَطَهَا ضَلَالَ and, 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 and the midst of it is delusion, misguidance, error. وَأَخِرَهَا كُفْرٌ And it ends with atheism. Because that's what's going to happen. People, people start losing their faith. This is what happened to the Europeans. They had World War I and II. It was enough for them. They don't believe in God anymore. They were a profoundly religious civilization. Look at all the churches they built. People, get, people can't take it. That's so much. Where is God? The question is not where is God. It's where are we? People are shayateen. It's plain and simple. And, and undeniably, there's uh, these... Uh, Bahia, you know, sacrificial lambs, like this 18-year-old boy who left Riyadh, who's been brainwashed to think that this religion is about hating other people. You know, because unfortunately we have certain sects in Islam now that teach that all kuffar are bad, even though the Quran clearly states that amongst them are good people, <laughs> amongst them are trustworthy people. Quran is a nuanced book. It's, it's not a simplistic book. It's not a black and white world. And then, from kufr comes iman, from iman comes kufr, that we're fluid by nature. Humans are fluid. People are in one state one day, they're in another state the next day. Is that fitna is worse than, than killing. Fitna is worse than killing. Quran. Al fitna akbaru min al qatri. Civil strife is worse than killing itself. Just the fact that humans are filled with strife. Because shaitan, that's, that's what he wants to do, reduce us. He wants to prove that, that the angels, in their question to God, are you going to place in the earth those who corrupt and shed blood? That's shed blood, that's what they ask. Is it gonna, that, that's what they're going to do. The Prophet ﷺ said, you have wiggle room with your Lord as long as you don't shed blood. The Quran says that if you kill a believer, mutaammidan, fajizahu, your 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 reward is jahannam. That's that's the reward of killing a believer. And 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 the muahid, they have rights. People have rights. These people have rights. These Syrian Christians, the the Syrian, uh, all these people have rights. They're muahidun. They're supposed to be protected, and the Shia are Muslims. They're, they're not kuffar, they're Muslims. Just because he's a Shia doesn't give anybody a right to, to, to kill him or do anything. But these people don't care. We, I met a man in Turkey who was a Naqshbandi from Halab. He had welts on his back from the torture that they did with him. To why? Because he was an imam in a masjid that, where they did dhikr in a group. That's why he was tortured. And they were going to kill him. He escaped. They had a raid and... And, and a bomb fell, and he got out, and he fled to Turkey. We met him, I had lunch with him.